a rapid fire rubber band launcher, a machine that makes you into a superhero. Soldier Creek Elementary School second graders submitted some cool ideas to engineering students from Rose State College. The idea is the college kids will develop prototype machines based on drawings from the second graders. The Oklahoma's Tim Willard reports the program engages second graders in science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM programming, and that both groups met recently at the school in the Midwest City, Dell City District to select the most popular concepts and discuss okay. ways to improve them. So the class we just did, um, the top three ideas, were one of them was a kitty volcano that is also a candy dispenser. Um, and so we talked a little bit with the kids about how, where they would want the volcano lava, if you will, to, to come out, what kind of candy they would like to dispense out of it. Is it does it have to be a kitty? Um, we ask questions like that to the kids. And so we allow them to kind of revise their ideas as a class, as a whole. And that way it's everybody's machine and not just the person that drew it. The second idea that we had was a solar nightlight. Uh, and that was a really cool idea because it was a nightlight that you could basically place anywhere in your house and it wasn't limited to a socket. And because of that, it also wasn't limited to a specific shape, if you will. So it really kind of opened up the possibility of what we could do for them there. The last one, a machine that makes it rain popcorn, actually. And I actually like that idea quite a bit too, because um, we're thinking about movie theaters and how mach those machines already kind of do that. But the truth is, you have to scoop it out afterwards. And so we thought the child that came up with that idea might be actually be on to something that might be marketable at the end of the day. And it's just really interesting that you get some of these fantastic ideas from second graders. And we have chosen the top three that we can actually make in our lab. In other words, things that we have the equipment to do, the materials to do, and are possible for us to do. We're selecting the basically the top idea. We're getting the children to come up with a consensus as to a machine that we're going to make. And then and we move on to the high school level um, at the tech schools there and we have those students come up with a blueprint or a design for this dream machine and then once the the high school um, uh, tech students get rid of the, or get done with their blueprint then we move on up to the collegiate level where we actually take those blueprints and we make them into reality we make them out of whatever materials we can but the main goal is to make them as professionally and as functional as we can of a machine and then we bring it back to the second graders and we say hey this is your idea this is your dream machine realized you know and that anything is possible um, and that you can make anything if you put your mind to it they are very excited and I think it's because you tell them you know that we are in the business of making dream machines. I think it's, uh, it's really something when you can get an entire class engaged and behind one idea and basically kind of working together um, in that respect. And it's great because they're second graders. And not only are they being unified behind an idea or actually rallying behind it, which is incredibly easy actually, but they, they seem to actually genuinely enjoy working on basically the machines or playing with those ideas, you know, toying them around to what makes sense in their heads. And it's just a really interesting thing to watch. We're gonna be making rain popcorn all day. Okay. <laughs>